this is a very quick Canva tutorial, uh -huh. okay? And what we are going to do uh -huh. is that I am going to teach you uh -huh. how to create. Uh -huh. um, anyway. <laughs> So I'm actually going to teach you how to create a client feedback design inside of Canva because you know as a business person, as a designer, sometimes it's good to showcase what your clients have said about you. So that's what we are actually going to be doing in this video. And don't forget, just in case you haven't subscribed, look, you're welcome to subscribe because this channel is all about Canva and we don't do just basic stuff, we also do advanced stuff, okay? And just in case you're also on the free version of Canva, please, the link is down there to help you upgrade to Canva Pro for free. Plus, there are more templates. Templates I have created for free, which you can also use for your designs and even for clients. Okay, so yeah, make sure to check them out in the description box below. Let's dive straight into today's video. Alright, so what we are simply going to do is we are going to be creating this, okay, recreating this, okay. I actually created it in Canva some few days ago, alright. So the dimension I'm using is 1080 by 1080. But just in case, just in case you are not used or you are not familiar with creating dimensions in Canva, make sure you are coming here. <laughs> I know it's funny with what I said, but you know come to create a design and just choose instagram post square okay or if you want to enter the dimensions manually come to custom size and choose 1080 and enter 1080 here as well okay then smash on the create new design okay so this is what we have the background i have in here it's um what's the color code so it's one f 212c okay and you should get this beautiful charcoal gray or charcoal black kind of um black okay then the first thing we'll do is to press f hey, what did i see press t on our keyboard for text okay and we'll just say feedback okay so feedback and the dimension or the font not dimension the font i'm using i don't know why okay Usually when I get to fumble like this, it's just because I'm hungry. I haven't had my breakfast yet and it's now 11.20, 11.43, you know, I'm fumbling because I'm very hungry as I'm sitting here. But we are doing it for the content, you know? Yay. Okay, so we have this here and we're going to duplicate it, you know, so duplicate, duplicate using Control D to make it easy. You don't have to now right click and be doing that. And because I know you don't know the shortcut, I created a PDF, okay? And the link should be in the description so that you just download it. It has every single um, shortcut Canva has. I have compiled everything for you. So make sure you check it and download it, okay? Nice one, okay. So keep it here like this. Then change the color to any color of your choice. You can use green, you can use any color, any color. I think you know which color looks okay. This is vibrant, it should be something catchy and vibrant, and you know, all of that. No, yeah, anyway. So, we'll keep it like this. Then, press R on your keyboard. Okay, you can see it's behind, and just so that I can use the new feature layers, right click okay on any of them you should see layer come to show layers okay then this is where we have it move it all the way to the top all right then you know it should be like this come to color and we are going to create you know some interesting gradient so make sure that the first color or the solid color should be you know the same color as the background then switch to gradient the second color okay make sure you are seeing this in here and slide it all the way to zero okay now choose the linear gradient okay which should be the second one come to position and position because we switch to layers don't worry click on arrange at the top over here okay then we will choose 180 okay or the rotation 180 and we want to create something like this okay then duplicate it bring it you know somewhere here come back to position and you know set it to zero okay so this is what we have at the moment which is looking very very cool so the next thing is press r on your keyboard to add a shape like this increase it or resize it to what i have done and change the color to white okay in here come to the border style and add some corner rounds and the reason why i love to add corner rounds on every ship now is it's like it's a new trend it's the new deal because you realize that almost every app now goes to rounded curves everything now every design that looks modern and sleek has a rounded curve that's the trend now so try to always add rounded you know corners to your shapes it shouldn't be too much something slight you know and it should be fine all right anyway so this is what we have 
and the first thing we would want to do is to proceed on our keyboard okay so proceed on your keyboard and um, just keep it here come into element in element scroll down to your find frame select it reduce the size okay and uh, it should be like this okay so center it make sure you're selecting everything if you're struggling to select the two of them right click come to layer come to show layers you know and um, you select the first one press and hold control and select the second one okay everything should be selected and just reduce i don't know if you heard my notification sound just reduce the size like this okay so you can see what we have something easy and simple now on the shape okay the shape change it so that it matches the text behind the next thing we are going to do is to add our client's name where they are from the stars or the ratings their comments and we'll just you know make sure everything's looking beautiful now the alignment set it to left and we'll just change this to the client name so i can just say e s t e l l e uh, maxim okay i don't know if you are called maxim hello if you are called estelle or esther hello to you as well hello esther okay so we would increase the size a little bit and position it it's, you know somewhere here now duplicate it with ctrl d and all we are going to do is to change the you know the boldness remove the board from it and reduce the size a little bit okay then what we are going to do is maybe just to show where your client is from so i can just say abuja okay nigeria okay i i hear people say that sometimes nigeria i'm from nigeria <laughs> that is nigeria okay i'm Ghanaian just by the way but anyway uh, it's funny sometimes shout out to all my nigerian fellows over there i hope you're doing well you know i have to visit nigeria someone to host me someone should invite me at least eh? so that we can say oh african geek has visited server anyway look let me just continue what i'm going to do next is i'm going to paste my client testimonial in there okay so i should do this in three two one nice over nice one nice one okay so the text looks a lot there are two options i can either increase this okay and make sure i select everything 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 okay and just make sure it's centered all right and the other thing is to reduce the client testimonial okay which i have also done anyway okay so i'll just add a full stop in here all right but we've missed one thing let's drop it down a little bit come into element and search for star okay and in star we'll just you know select it and reduce the size position it here so just to show how you know the ratings you got okay so me i got five stars if you got four stars you can you know leave it there okay yeah so i will just position this here like this and you know it's always good that after every project you ask your client to rate you and let them you know you just tell them that oh you know you'd love for them to rate you so that you can know where to improve and all that okay it's, it's very good then select it all again you know under element and just search for like okay you should see this light select it and reduce size okay and position it somewhere here okay then you can just say like this post okay if it's optional at this point it's optional like this post all right then we'll keep it here and reduce you know this so that it doesn't look to you some way okay then make sure it's centered select everything and reduce the size okay so something like this and i think it's looking very good at this point okay so what i'm going to do next is to add an image of estelle okay so i'll say african lady okay and we should get some pretty african ladies it, since it's a client i want to use a serious message sort a serious photo okay yeah so that's my client assumed client okay yeah so i'll position her here and i would want to come back in here and say like okay so 3d like or you can yeah just search for three uh -huh. okay so this is what i'm looking for but you can see there's one problem the color of this is red and the color of what we have in here is purple so we can come into magic recommendations and we can see we have purple in here okay so make sure you're choosing what you know fits the color you have in your design so you can just put one here and maybe put one here or you know just let it look nice all right and you can also be creative if you want to you know make it curved and all that you can you can do all the fancy stuff at this point okay so this is what i am going to do and maybe i'll just reduce it small 
and yeah so this is what we have at the moment i hope you found it helpful i hope this alone will make people trust your business and trust what you do so yes if you found it helpful and easy please hit on the like button to support this video let me know if there's any design you want me to make in my next tutorial or i will surely do it for you okay the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity check all the links in the description box below and i should see you in my next video